I'm Joanna Hadley and I'm the Silver Swans licensee at the Janet Loma School of Dancing in Bury in Lancashire. Today's class is suitable for absolute beginners and we'll go through a few exercises before we finish off the class learning some repertoire from the ballet Don Quixote. So before we begin, we're going to start off with a warm-up. It's nice and easy to follow along and we're just going to start off travelling around our room. If you haven't got enough space to travel around your room, you can always walk on the spot. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, so walking around. So this is an exercise really focusing on your arms. I'm just going to go through a few of the positions before we start learning the exercise. So we'll start off by learning our feet in first position. So if you stand with your feet together and you're going to rotate the whole of your leg. So the turnout is coming from your hips, heels stay in contact with each other and we're just turning our toes away from each other. And it's to a position that you should find comfortable. We're not pushing our feet out to the sides, just a nice comfortable, almost like a right angle for your feet. So that is our feet in first position. Now some of our arm positions, we're going to learn hands in bra bar. Bra bar, low arms. So it's a nice oval shape with our arms and we don't want our hands to be too close together. Nice and relaxed across your shoulders and then you can keep that beautiful dancer's posture. Now, if you keep your hands in exactly the same shape and lift your hands up so that they're opposite your waist, this is arms in first position. There are five positions of the arms in total in ballet. So this is first position, and if we open our arms out sideways, we then reach second position. Just be careful in second position that your arms aren't going behind you, we still keep them curved in front of you. There's one more position that we're going to use in this exercise today. And if you take your hands back down to bra bar again, go into first position. Now keep your arms traveling upwards. And this is where we reach arms in fifth position. So we want our shoulders to be nice and relaxed. Keep that gap between your hands about the width of your face. And that's our fifth position. There's just one little extra position that doesn't belong to the five positions of the arms that we're going to use. And it's going to be our demi second. So imagine if you have on your tutu and your hands are just resting on the edge of the netting. Now we've gone through those basic positions, let's make a start on learning our pour de bras. So we're going to go up to the top corner and this exercise is going to zigzag across our room. So starting with your feet in first position and we'll take our hands in bra bar. So to begin with we'll take our right hand to first position and out to second. Then same with your left hand first and out to second. Now lowering both hands to bra bar to first, out to second and down. So we've Tracked the position with one hand and then with the other hand and then we've repeated it with both hands together. Let's give that another go. 
So right hand arm first, two second, first, two second. Now lowering both hands and both hands repeat that same pattern again. Now we're going to go into a full corps de bras where we're going all the way up to fifth. Arms first, two fifth, opening out and down, it's going to go to our demi-second position, the one where our hands are on the edge of our tutus. And we're going to take three walks going across the room. Try and start these with your right foot first. Remember that I'm teaching this as a mirror image. So, starting with your right foot. In ballet, we always lead with our big toe. So we're rippling through our feet as we're walking. And we'll close our feet in first to repeat it on the other side. Lowering your hands to bra bar. Left hand, one. And out. Right hand, two. And out. Now both hands to bra bar. To first. Out to second. Lowering down. Now both hands up to fifth. All the way up. Opening out. And down to demi second. And it's our three walks starting with your left leg first. Left leg, big toe leads away. Two and three closing feet in first hands down to bra bar now in this pour de bras there's just an extra little bit of music at the end which we would call a coda and it's just an opportunity for us just to add a little ending onto it so we'll take our right hand out to second and then our left hand out to second and then to finish off we're going to take our hands up to open fist. So it's like a V shape with your arms, with the palm of your hand facing down. Okay, let's give that a go with music. Feet in first, hands in bra bar. So right hand to first, and out to second. Left hand first, to second, bra bar to first, both hands. very straightforward it's just pointing and closing your feet now this exercise that I'm going to do is one that I do a lot with my own silver swans because it's really good for helping your balance so we're going to start off with our feet in first position your hands in bra bar and then we'll prepare your arms first and out to second now it's really important in this exercise that we keep our hands in front of us and that we don't let our arms wander behind us we're wanting to keep them in front Keep our weight over the balls of our feet, shortening your front, lengthening your back, and all of that will all help with your balance. So we're going to point our foot to the front three times. So I'm going point and close and a point and close. But this third one is going to change slightly because I'm now going to lift my leg into a little balance, point and closing in. Now I'm going to go into what's called a transfer of weight, where, where we are moving our body weight from one foot onto the other. So we're going to point our foot to the side, lower it down into second position. So we learned first position at the beginning of the video, and this now is second position. 
Just take a moment to check in second that your feet are matching. We don't want to have one foot more turned out than the other and we want your weight to be equally between two feet. So with your arms in second, we finish off that transfer of weight, closing your feet into first, and then we'll take a full port de bras, just like we learned before, and opening out to second. Then we'll repeat again with the left leg. Point and a close, and a point and close, point, little balance, and point and closing in. Transfer of weight, pointing, lower your heel, point and closing in, taking a full port de bras all the way up to fifth, opening out and finishing off. If you do want to, on the transfer of weight, you can keep that on straight legs, or if you want to, you can take it into a little demi-plie where we're just bending our knees and stretching. Let's give it a go with music. Prepare your arms to second and a point and close and point and a close. Now into your balance. Point closing in transfer of weight. Lowering your leg and pour the And opening out and left and close. Keeping your weight forwards, arms in front. Get ready for this lift. Transfer of weight, lower your heel, point closing in, hors de bras, and we'll finish off. We're now going to learn a little bit of repertoire from Don Quixote, and this is Kitri's variation. So for this dance you are going to need a Spanish fan. Don't worry if you don't have one, you could always concertina a piece of paper or you can just use an imaginary fan. I'll just teach you how to hold your fan first of all. If you hold your, the base of your fan into the palm of your hand. Now if you work out whereabouts your fan opens from, which way it falls down from, you're going to hold onto that top section with your thumb and first finger. Now you can use your other fingers almost as like a break for opening it and closing it. So we're going to start off learning this dance now and we begin in the top corner. Now I've slightly modified some sections of this dance and we're going to begin actually with a little bit of mime. Now mime is very important in ballet because obviously we're not saying any words. So instead we use actions and mime to continue to st tell the story. So if we start off in the top corner with our feet in first position and holding your fan in your right hand. So as we're holding the fan in your right hand, you can just hold the top of it with your left hand, with your elbows lifted. So we're waiting for the introduction. Now, with your other hand, the one that's just supporting, you're going to imagine that you're stood in front of all of your audience and you're welcoming all of your audience to watch you. Now we're going to do the mime for me. And then we're going to tell everybody that we're going to dance. So we're just going to take a little circle with our hands and lifting out and down and that's our introduction so we're waiting and then we're going to welcome our audience me I'm going to dance when we finished off our mind section and we've opened our hands out we're going to open up our fan and your other hand can just place onto your hip we're going to then start off taking three walks just like we did in our pour de bras so we're going to start off with our right foot in front. So we're going to go right foot, left foot, right foot, closing your feet into first. Now we're going to go the other way with our left leg, left leg, and right leg, and left leg, closing feet into first. Now we'll go the other way again, right foot, and left foot, and right foot, feet into first. So we've made a little zigzag pattern across the floor and all the time when we're doing that, we can use our shoulders and use your fan. When we've taken three walks, three sets of walks, we're going to take our fan out around your audience and we're just going to take some walks, it doesn't matter however many, to travel so we're almost finishing off that zigzag pattern as we're going down to this corner with your feet in first and we're going to close our fan. 
just back to the original hand position that we had right at the start of the dance. So now let's try from the very beginning up to the end of this first section with music. exercise in the centre just before but these back montagnes are going to go to second so try and use your right foot first we're going to point it to the side and then we're going to close to the back into third position so third position if you just pop your feet into first now bring one foot slightly in front of the other so your heel is in the middle of your other foot and we can take third position with either foot in front and that's the positions that we're swapping our feet between. So pointing your right foot to the side, point and close at the back, point, close at the back, point, close at the back, point, close at the back. So that's four back montagnes. Now, opening up your fan, we're going to take our fan all the way round, opening out, and we're going to bring it in front of us. Now we're going to repeat those four points again. Point and close, and point and close, point and close, point and close. And you'll notice that in this section the music's starting to get faster and faster. We're going to take our fan out to our audience again and we're going to walk back up to where we started the dance. Let's now give it a go from the very beginning up to the end of this second section. Welcoming your audience, me, I'm going to dance. Open up your fan. Right foot leads. And right, and left, and right feet into first. Left, and right, and left feet into first. Right, and left, and right feet into first. So if you finish off with your right foot in front in third position and we're going to take our fan up and we can give it a nice flick just to finish off the dance. So let's give it a go now from the very beginning all the way through to the end. And welcoming your audience, me, I'm going to dance. Right foot leads. Yeah. 
big circle all the way round. Pointing your foot again. One, two, three, four. Up to the beginning. Round we go. Right foot leads. Right and left and right. Feet into first. down so just an opportunity just to really think about your breathing okay so with your feet together just following along <laughs> 